Now let's explore some CS4 specific functionality. I've created a new document again, or I'm going to. Let's make it two columns. Here we're going to click on Master Text Frame. That's going to add a text frame to our document on the master pages. I'm also going to go to Preferences, and from the Type section, I'm going to click on Smart Text Reflow. And I'm also going to click on the Delete Empty Pages option. We're going to explore the functionality of that as soon as I click OK. Let's change the color of that layer again to more easily display the text frames. Go to the Pages panel. Let's take a look at our master page. Just as we specified, our master page now contains two frames. If we reveal the text threads, we can see that they're linked together by default. Now let's go through that place option once again. Command or Control D. Navigate to the document. Click Open. Maintain the same specs as the last time. Now take a look at my loaded text cursor. Let's drag it off of the text frame once again and take a look at it. We'll move over here to the pasteboard. Watch what happens when we drag it into the frame. It changes to almost like parentheses. One click, I'm going to fill up my frames, watch the pages panel. Without any manual operation, it automatically creates as many pages as we need to accommodate the text that we're importing. This method, a few less clicks. What I'm going to do now is just delete a huge block of text. Take a look at the Pages panel when I do. The number of pages reduces to accommodate the new length of my story. I'm going to select a bunch of text, copy and paste it in a couple of times, and you'll see the Pages panel change, automatically adding pages to accommodate that text. Now, not only can we add pages automatically, we can delete them automatically as well. Now let's take a look at the alterations, just like we did the last time. Our master page has those two frames linked together. I'm going to use the selection tool and I'm going to radically alter actually let's go to text frame options, sorry. Go to text frame options and let's change our gutter size click on the preview, we can see that it doesn't match up with that frame that we've created anymore. So let's go to the layout menu, margins and columns, and let's just delete that page margin indicator, column indicator, and let the text frame itself define the columns. Now let's change the width I should say the depth of that one frame on the right hand side and we can see that not only has it added the proper number of pages without having to make any adjustment and without having to repaginate we now have the proper layout that's been reflected on the master page. This method is a lot easier for scenarios where we might actually change our mind about the final layout. Whether you're in CS3 or CS4, there are ways to radically reduce our production time by creating master pages, 
and in CS4, the Smart Text Reflow scenario.